the latest update there's been a change to um, allow better page layouts in the digital planner uh, generator um, so someone's asked about this particular template so I've quickly knocked it up and this video will show you how I've done it um, so first thing you want to do is have a blank document with um, um, kind of the structure of what you want to be on a page in your planner. Now what I've done here is I've put down tables and text. Um, so here's a table. I've um, adjusted the top um, uh, row so that it's narrower. So you do that on cells, override heights, which row one is a, a small value. Um, I've adjusted the um, top margin scale to be two, so it's twice as thick as the rest of the table. And I've just gone through and done that for each table in the, um, in the kind of template. Um, I've added text in the columns just by text tool tapping in the, um, in the uh, appropriate cell, put in the, put in the, um, the, uh, the text that was required. Um, now you'll notice this blue um, rectangle. So that is just a polygon, which I place down. Now this is the area that I want the, um, the kind of uh, calendary bit to go in. Um, and if I look at the uh, style for this one, um, I've uh, enabled the um, calendar property. Now that's important because that's going to tell Zoom that that's where I want my calendar. Um, but that's all it takes from it, that and its perimeter. So the fact that it's blue doesn't matter. It just helps see which one's the special bit. And the final bit. Um, in making the layout is um, this um, outer rectangle. Now again, just a polygon, not a calendar um, attribute. That's definitely not on. Um, and what that do is doing is sig sig uh, signifying the um, boundary, the outer extent of the um, symbol the layout that you're going to use and that helps fit the tables and um, things that are in your symbol onto the page when Zoom Notes comes to use it. Um, and the thing that's important about that one is that it needs to be at the back of all the other ones. So when you place that um, rectangle, you might do it last or first, whichever, but before you make it into a symbol, just do a long press Oh, that didn't work. Um, select, uh, select tool, select it, long press, other, and then send it to the back. That will do it for you. And then finally, you're going to um, select everything. And then we're going to create a symbol. I've done one already, but I'll just do this one. So there it is, called symbol. Great. So how do we use that? We're going to go to the um, custom uh, digital planner, configure it, digital planner, um, sections, and then uh, we want to, I'll put it on days. If I turn that bit off, that's what you'd usually get, really simple, just the, the uh, times of the, through the day. Um, I'm going to say use layout symbol and um, use the one I just created. And so it's used that, it's brought the tables in and um, added the um, actual calendar bit in the blue rectangle area. So now I can go um, Create and do that. Um, and 
day. There we go. So it's brought in everything that I've needed. Um, and I've got that on all my days. Uh, the other thing that I could show you um, is that if I go to same thing, create document, custom, and I decide, well, I really like that layout, I'll probably reuse that. I can say save as planner template, create, done that. Um, and what that's done is it's created um, uh, me a planner template here. So if I choose that, say yes, um, it'll use it. So if I go here, that's got the day layout correct. But let's say next year comes along, I'll do it for that, that's great. So there we go, 2021. with the layout template that I like for my dailies. Um, the final point with that is if I go uh, back to configuring one, custom, configure, and the sections, you'll find that um, that was days, but I can do the same thing with um, uh, weeks and the same thing with months. And the same thing with year. So I'll go to year now, this won't make a lot of sense, but um, I'll pick that say, same symbol. You'd have a, probably have a different symbol for your uh, year layout, um, but it just shows you it, it conceivably can work. You'd have to change the font sizes and things for that, uh, for that section on, if you were to use that symbol. Um, but uh, that feature is there.